Hello Power Apps Makers, this is Ahmed Saleh again and welcome to the first video in the year 2023. Today we have a very exciting topic. Uh, it's a topic that I have been thinking about for a long time to really uh, make something about it. It's either just a, you know a, an article or make a video. It's, it's a very big topic, especially for those of us who are new to the dataverse and to the security models and business units and records-based security and all these kind of things. Uh, how we do this and how we uh, architect basically uh, these security models uh, using these business units. <clears throat> so we're going to start today by um, looking at the model that I have here. So I have uh, um, my example, which is the cupcake store that uh, selling online cupcakes. Uh, this business has different regions. Uh, as you can see here, we have the Southeast sales uh, teams. Uh, we have uh, teams, or maybe you can call it warehouse, or whatever you want to call it in the Northeast. We have the same thing in the Midwest. Uh, these different teams or these different regions has one centralized manager that basically looking uh, or oversees uh, all uh, those you know sales from these three different regions and then we have obviously the root business unit so uh, we will start by actually the root business unit the root business unit every time you create an environment you will have a root business unit. Usually that root business unit has actually uh, the name, uh, a, a part of the URL name, uh, URL uh, of your environment. That's That will be basically the name of that root business unit. And then uh, it's, it's a business unit that created default by default by the system. So it's nothing that you can do about it. You cannot delete that uh, uh, root business unit. And then we have created in this example, and uh, we will actually create, I created most of these, but we will create one business unit just to show you the process of this. So the manager's business unit here, it's, it's as I said, the managers are the one uh, department that will be able to see all the records uh, that is being created by the Midwest, Northeast, and the Southeast uh, salespeople. Uh, so they can read uh, these records, they can edit these records, they can delete these records of their, you know, uh, child uh, business units records, basically. Uh, then I have created, uh, you know, these uh, children, uh, basically, uh, business units. And in each business unit, each region business unit, we will have, obviously, the sales team uh, or the salespersons who are, you know, working on that region and they can only read, edit, and delete their own business unit uh, records. And this is gonna be the same for all these three regions uh, business units. So to hop in and start here, we're gonna actually, uh, I have actually this diagram here. And again, just to make the video clear, because this is one of these tough videos actually really to make, to make you sure that, you know, to make sure that you, you, you don't get lost with me when I'm, I'm doing this. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, and this is a little bit tricky, that's why I wanna show you here. When you actually start with these business units in, in, in the classic Dynamics 365 or the legacy preview or whatever you wanna call it, right, in the Power Platform, uh, uh, how do you rename the, uh, you know, root business unit. So we're gonna actually start by by really doing that first thing. So first thing first, we actually gonna go to, uh, this is our solution and this is where we're gonna have our model driven app. This model driven app is shared with all the users. But again, different users can see different records through the same model driven app, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the advanced setting from this gear here. In the advanced settings, I will click on the settings under system. I will go to security. In security, I will go to business units. As you can see, these are the business units that we have now. So the first thing that we are talking about is going to be the root parent business unit. Obviously, this is not the name of that root business unit. So if actually you look into my URL, so this part of the URL was actually the name of this business unit. 
So how do you change this? And that's going to be the question. So you, to do that, if I click actually here on this business unit, and I try to change the name, one thing you, you will notice that is one of the field here is actually two fields are required, is the name and the parent business unit. So basically, if you want to change the name here, I have by default, obviously, to uh, select a parent business unit, right? But in this case, this is our root business unit. So there is no other parent uh, unit that I want to assign. So it will not let me save this. So basically, it will give me an error. So if I put just an A letter here and I try to save, you can see you must provide a value for parent business, basically. So what and how to do that, so I'm going to actually go ahead, close this. To do that, you will go in settings, go to customization under, under customization. Here we will go to customize the system. Here we will go under entities. And then we'll scroll down and we will find the business units and the business units or the business unit has fields and in this field you will look for this one here it's the parent business unit ID field if I actually click on this field as you can see this field requirement it's set to business required change this to optional save and close still updating the field click wait and give it a second here I'm gonna wait bear with me perfect it's working now I'm gonna hit close this one and I will go back to my security business unit and if I click now on the parent business unit I can go ahead and rename this so I'm gonna just copy this name here and I just change it for uh, root BU and then save and close so as you can see I was able to change the root business unit name so that's number one. Number two that we have here in our list is actually to create a manager's BU. As you remember here, the manager BU is going to be we, the parent business unit that we will use as a parent when we create these children BU, right? So that's very important to have the parent unit created first if it's a parent unit or it's a business unit that will be used as a parent with other business units. To do that, we already have the manager PU. So how I created that, it's basically you just click on new right here. You type the name of the manager's PU or whatever name you want to use. And then what I select here, obviously, is the root PU. Remember, I changed the name, it changed automatically. So I don't have to come and reselect this if you have it. So anytime you change the name of these PUs, it will change automatically for everything linked to it obviously it will not break the links right so here we have the manager view the root view then we have created the northeast sales view for the sales team in the northeast and the same thing for the southeast to show you how i created this i will just create the midwest i click new the name is going to be mid west sales bu and the parent business unit is the root business unit. If you have something different, you can always click here, look for records, and you will see all your business units right here. You can select the one that you want, and you click Add to be the parent business unit. That's done. Save and close. And here we're done. 
what is the is the next step that we have here is actually to create regions BU and this is what we did with the mes, uh, uh, Midwest business unit then create custom security role so we are using in this example a custom security role right to do that so if we're gonna go to again security we have security roles now what is the difference or the relationship between security roles and business units again this is a big topic and I'm gonna try to simplify it for you so if you read through the documentations about Dataverse security dynamic 365 securities and you read the sentence that says role based security this is business units if you read records or rows based security this is the security roles again if you read role based security that's the business unit but if you read records or rows based security this is the security role and in this example we will see how we actually these two together work to uh, uh, basically have both kind of scenarios at the same time so you have security based on the role of this person in their organization which business unit this person is reside in which business unit team he might share or also be in with other business units right and we are also going to see the security role okay this security role this records base role this roles base role right okay this person which roles they can see in their bu can they see the bu the parent bu can they see only their own records that they created can they delete other people in the same bu records can they edit other people in the same bu records or it's only for themselves or they can actually edit everyone in the organization regardless of the bu and this is what comes to the custom security role or the security roles so here we have a custom security role that we call it customer per bu if i click on this customer security role and in this example i'm only doing this in one table just to give you an example what i'm using here and these are the permissions that we have on the rows based security records based security so in this case in this customer table the users who have access to this table either through dataverse so they can go to the table under dataverse or they have access to this table under canvas app or under modriven app or under portals or pages wherever the case it is what they can do here obviously as you can see i'm using the half yellow half yellow it's the business unit that's mean the person who can have access to this table can only read edit delete share assign append append to those records that were created by members and users in their business unit created by the users in their business unit and owned or owned by the users in their business unit because again it might be created by someone else but the admin came and assigned those records to be owned by a different you know business unit so if it's owned by this business unit then this user who have access to this customer table will be able to do this uh, 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 edit uh, read delete actions what do we have here we have this core yellow right and this is to show you that if the user if any one of these like let's say if the delete for example right here if the delete privilege is basically I'm gonna just make this a user so what is the difference is gonna be here that mean is actually this user will not be able to delete all the records in their business unit they will be able to delete only their own record so the records that they created by themselves or the records that they own as users or as members so remember this and we can leave this now for here maybe we can test it later now save and close and that's everything here so what do we have next is the default bu teams so business units every time you create a business unit 
you will have a default team created by the system for you. To find this team or to see these teams, we're gonna use the modern design. I'm gonna click on the gear, go to the admin center. And in the admin center, I will click on environments. In the environments, I will click on Ahmed Saleh environments. And then I will click on teams. So these are the teams that I have now. Remember, I just created the Midwest sales business unit, right? I have a default team. So what is the default team? A default team is a team generated automatically. So when you add users or you assign user to this business unit, they will be added automatically to the default team. But you cannot add users directly to the default team. Why? Because you have to assign them that business unit. There is a very important concept that you can have a user in a business unit, but this user also in another business unit additional team. Why? Because there is no user can be, a user cannot be in two business units at the same time, but a user can be in one business unit and in another business unit team, right? So the default team it's created when you create the business unit. If I click on these three dots and I click manage teams. So here, this is going to be my default team. And I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So if I actually try to add a member directly to this default team, what it's going to happen? You will get an error. Can't, cannot add members to the default business unit directly. So what if I want to add a user to this business unit to do that you will have to go to that user so and this is the midwest so i'm going to go to the users and this is in the settings of my environment and their users and i will basically add the users to my environment let's say the user is not here one point is important here also to remember when you first add a user to the environment by clicking add user right here and add this user to the environment by default this user will be assigned to the root business unit. So that's mean you have to come and change their root business unit and give them the business that you want. In this case, I have the Midwest. So I'm going to select Isia, for example. And then you can see here that change business unit. So if I click on this, I see what kind of business unit I can select for this person. I will select the Midwest sales. Right. And again, if I click on Isaiah and I click on manage security roles, he is in a manager. So let's find someone different than him. OK, so what about Joanna? Click select manage security role and you can see that Joanna is in the root business unit. I want to actually add Joanna to be in the default team of the new business unit that we created and we call it the Midwest sales. Right. So I'm going to select Joanna, change business unit. Come here and select the Midwest Sales BU. Here you go, and it's done. Now, if I go back to the settings, and I will go to the teams, and I will go to my default team for the Midwest, and manage teams members, I can see that Joanna now is being added to this team. I'm going to go back to the team. Now, this is the this is the Midwest sales business unit. Does this business unit has any specific security role? Yes. So the Midwest will be able to only edit, delete, edit, read, create, append, append to, and assign and share their records, the records that are owned by their business units. And they can only delete their own created records. So to do that, Click on that default business unit or business unit team, as you can see under team, and then manage security role. I give them basic user and I will give them the custom customer per business unit role. Perfect. It's done. Now we have Joanna right here. So the same thing happened for other business units, but I'm going to show you something. So as you can see here, we have the Northeast sales business units. If I check the team's members of this business unit, I have Johnny. 
Now I want to make sure something. I want to make sure that Johnny is in that Northeast business unit. As you can see, Johnny does not have any security role as 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 individual user. So I did not assign to Johnny direct security role. I assigned the security role to her business unit, right? That's perfect. So that's done. So basically the South or the Northeast and Midwest, it's the same thing. Created the business unit. I go to my users and I change their default business unit. I change their business unit and I give them this business unit. But remember, we have a third region. We have a third business unit, and this is the Southeast business unit. Here, I'm giving you an example from for the other scenario. So this one, I had to create a team, and in that team, I selected the business unit of that team to be the Southeast. So what is the difference between this team and the default team of the business unit? The difference, first, number one, is in this team, you can actually add users directly to this team once created. So I can actually create user users by coming here, manage team users for the South Sales team. And I can come and add team members. And let's say I will add Isaiah. Yeah? And I can go ahead and add that person here right so this person now is added to this south sales southeast sales team right this person can have a different business unit and that's exactly correct so if i actually go to the users and i check isia security roles you can see he's in the manager bu no problem. So he's in a different business unit, but he's in another business unit additional team. I like to call it additional team because when you come here and click teams and you see all these business unit teams, doesn't mean that all of them are the same. So there's the one that you created and then there's one that created by the system and we call them default teams. The default teams, you cannot add users to them directly. To add user to those default teams, you have to go to the user and actually change their business unit to that business unit so it will be added to the default business unit team, right? But this is for Isaiah. So Isaiah actually doesn't even here in this business unit. Now here, remember, there is a very important note and you will find it in my blog post in this, uh, that link to this video, right? It's very important to understand these. When you have a team, that you added, in our case, it was the Southeast sales team, right? And you added users to this team, right? Remember in the Midwest default team, I didn't have actually any security roles assigned to this team, right? The, uh, uh, sorry, so this is actually assigned to the business unit. So the default team already has basically the security role. but. In the case, let's say in the case of the sales team here, the managed security role, I have actually, if I have users in this team that are not in the BU, because the Southeast security role, which is this one, which is, this is, by the way, this is the default team. If I check here, I will see that I have security role assigned to this business unit, right? So any users in this team or in the additional team that I created that link to this or under this business unit, which is this one, right, will have the same security role. And you can see that this team does not have any security role because it's inside that South East Sales business unit. But the problem will come if I added a user to this team right here, as I have added now Isia, right? I have added him right here. Lydia, by the way, her business unit is actually the South East sales. So she doesn't have a problem. But Isaiah is a problem because now I need Isaiah to be in two different business units. Obviously, I cannot do that. So he's in a one business unit and he's in another team in another business unit. And that's completely fine, right? So he can actually see all the records of his own business units and wherever record is created under this business unit. But to do that, 
because he's in a different business unit i will have to come here and make sure that this additional team i created has also assigned security roles as his or its you know business unit as well which is the same security role i assigned here they will be assigned to this additional team one note remember if i gave this additional team i created under this southeast sales business unit extra roles higher roles then the users in this team will actually be granted these higher roles right it's always going to go to the higher roles the user has perfect now that's done here i hope it's clear so we have everything here that we needed to do we created the additional teams we added member to the teams we assign security role to these teams we assign security role to the business unit as we did with the midwest and now we're gonna have to assign records to these bus and here we're gonna go to my model driven app so i'm actually i show you both both ways to do this okay let's say you don't have a a, a model driven app to do that i'm gonna go to the advanced setting and i will use the advanced find and it's actually this funnel right here so if i click on funnel this funnel right here i'm gonna maximize this for you and as i said we are working on one table i'm gonna get my table which is customer and let's say i'm actually going to look for the region by state so i want to actually select all this is customer uh, table this customer table has general information name email address and street address state and city and zip code and that's it so i want to actually select that i want all the state that equal tennessee and also i would like to get all the state that equal ohio for example or colorado right i'm gonna go ahead hit control and select those both conditions and i will join them as or so I'll group them by or so that's mean every customer in colorado and every customer in tennessee now i want to show the result so it pull actually all these records right this table has only 24 records if it has more it will all be here right so now what i will do i will come and select everything and i will come to assign customers and what i will do i will change this to user or team and i will select this case i will select the midwest business unit so i have the midwest so let's click here okay and you see midwest sales business unit and i will assign this business unit to Tennessee and Colorado, right? Let's just call these the Midwest. I know they are completely different state. That's it. So it's got it's done now, right? So nothing else here to save. It's already been done and completely great. So I'm gonna actually go and check the data. So I'm gonna show you the data. I'm a system admin in this environment, right? I'm not part of any of these business units, but I'm a system admin. By default, I see everything, right? So I'm gonna go to my app. I have a model driven app this model driven app called cupcake orders i'm gonna play this app and as you can see i have these records that i just assigned right all colorado and tennessee they are assigned to the midwest new business unit that we have created we have other units we have the northeast we have the southeast we have all this business unit perfect so now we have these business units already being assigned remember this is a view of a customer's table and i just added the owner table for this purpose so you can see actually who's owning this record right so now what we need to do is i want to actually go back and see who is uh, uh who are the members of the midwest sales business unit so i'm going to manage the members i want to just remember who is the person that we have assigned to this business unit so it's joanna lawrence so that's great and I'd also i'm gonna have to make sure that she is not in any other business units obviously so she is only in this business unit do i have to check no i don't why because this is the default team of that business unit that means i cannot add any users to this default team unless i change their business unit so that's mean joanna lawrence is actually her business unit her default business unit or her 
initial business unit is going to be that Midwest, as you can see here. Does she has any direct security role? No, she will inherit this security role from her business unit. And as you remember, I'm gonna do it again so you actually can remember this. So I'm gonna go back to Teams. I'm gonna go back to the Midwest sales business unit manage security role make sure that this security this business unit has security role that i need has basic user and it has customers now what i will do here i'm gonna go and find juana right here so i'm gonna open juana profile it's signed in and i will go to my app here real quick and i will just copy this and i will come and paste it actually for her right here so just for us to quickly you know find these records and see if she can see what exactly she can see so signed out again perfect it's I would like to select Juana next sign in sign in yes the app is loading it's the cupcake orders she has only access on the customer table because that custom security role it's only on the customer table as you can see she can only see the midwest sales right remember that juana only is a member of the midwest okay what if i actually jumana ja promoted to oversee or supervise or train users in the southeast so for that purpose i want juana to be able to see the southeast records as well right so what i can do and this is where you actually can have a user in two different business units indirectly in one business unit they and then in a team of another business unit so i will go to that business unit team the additional team because you cannot add users to the default team of the southwest and then I will manage users or members. I will go ahead and add a team member. And I added Joanna Lawrence. One thing I have to make sure that because Joanna is another team, is he, she is in another business unit. So that's a shared access. So she will have a shared access on this business unit. You will have to assign security role for this team so it's going to be basic user it's going to be customer prepare you i will save and close and now if i go back to joanna and i hit refresh she will be able to see all the records from the midwest and the southeast record as you can see right here Perfect. If you go to any record of this, and this is just for your information, if I click on any records, and I want to see this signed person, what kind of access they have on this table, you click on check access. And you can see that Joanna will have, her role is in the customer per business unit, her team is the Midwest sales PU, and that's it. That's what Joanna has and in her business. But she also has other security role but the other security role it's not on the midwest so if i hit actually a record from the southwest a record that is owned by the southwest secure uh, business unit and i check the access so she is in the southeast sales team and she has this role i hope this is clear i know read the article i have watched the video multiple times believe me it took me a while to understand this again coming not coming from dynamics you know uh, as a business user as app makers uh, whatever name you call it you have no experience in this i know it's hard to understand it but i'm trying to put every single idea here in this video so now we have one uh, 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 scenario which is the manager right so we have the manager business unit and if i can manage the security role the manager business unit should be able to read, write, service reader, service writer, and service reader. So basically the managers, in this case, they can do everything with all the data in this dataverse, all the tables, right? 
everything. They can read, they can write, they can delete. Perfect. Who are the users that we have added here? So I added Alex. So let's check out. No. So I added Isaiah. So let's add another member. So I'm going to go ahead and add Alex. I cannot add Alex to the default business unit team. To do that, you have to go to the settings. Users. Alex. Change business units. Select business unit and Alex now in the manager business unit. That's, that's if you want to add them to the default. If I, I have a shared access, then you will have to create a team, additional team in the manager's business unit. And then you can add Alex, maybe Alex in the root, maybe Alex in another business unit, but you can actually give him shared access by adding to that additional team. So now Alex, he's, um, he's in the manager business unit and his business unit is actually, as you can see, if I refresh now, his business unit is going to change here because we have just changed the business unit. So again, change business unit. Uh, he's a ma So he is supposed to be a manager. So let's just try again and refresh this. Yes, we just, you know, hit refresh and it's, here you go. It has been changed. So now what I will do, I want to actually see what Alex can see. So I'm going to head and sign in as Alex. I'm going to paste the application that I have. And I don't have to share the model-driven app with them, but if they have access to any of these tables inside the model-driven app, they will be able to see them. In Joanna's case, she only has access to the customer table. This model-driven app has multiple tables. She can only, she can have access to the model-driven app, but she can only see that one table. Right. So as you can see that Alex has everything. So he can see the Midwest, he can see the Southeast, and he can see the Northeast as well. 24 records that we have in this table. Now, let's try to create records by, for example, in this case, by Joanna. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Joanna to create a record. So let's go ahead and create a new customer in this case. So I'm going to create a customer called Ahmed. The address of this customer will be 123 Main Street, city is going to be Denver, the state is going to be Colorado, and postal code is going to be 80012, I know this is in Aurora, and then I will actually save and close, required field, email address, yes, so I have the email address, it's a at mail.com, and then I go ahead and save and close. So now we have a record is created by Joanna. As you can see, the owner of this record is Joanna, and Joanna is in the Midwest business unit, right? So if I go to Alex, and actually I hit refresh, Alex can see everything, so he will see that Joanna just created actually a record as well, right here, right? So that's it. That's everything we have in regard to the business unit, shared access via the additional teams that we create and assign to a business unit, security role, assign those security roles to the business units. If you have additional teams, make sure to assign those security roles to those additional team. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Please share, subscribe, and like this video. And if you have any feedback, if you have any question, please post them there, comment these questions, because I can collect all these questions, do some more research. Maybe we can have another follow-up video to really cover some other topics maybe I couldn't touch uh, uh, on this video. I will see you in the next video in this year, 2023. So stay tuned. I will see you next time. Bye.